tonight on Bondi Rescue. Collision. Oh! What happens when man and board collide? Is it big? It's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. This man's first swim at Bondi was almost his last. He quite possibly might be about to have a heart attack. A summer day goes pear-shaped as thousands flee the beach. And there's a dog on the loose. No, 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 Snoop Dogg, the real Snoop Dogg. Like, I'll, I'll pop a cap in your ass, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, there you go. The early morning's down here at Bondi start at 6 o'clock. For me, it's a testing time of the morning. Up is extremely worthwhile because it can be beautiful down here. Most of the season, especially around this time of year, it's quite dark when we get here. and It's a nice time of the day if you get to see it. I'm going now. I'm taking the coast road. It's the beginning of a new day. The sun's coming up. Everything's just fresh. It's just always a good feeling getting up and coming to a job like this because it's just so much job satisfaction and you come to the beach, look at it, like this is the office. When I leave my house to come to work, it's a nice view, it's nice to just cruise to work and have a look at Bronny, Tamarama along the way, then come over the hill to Bondi. When the sun comes up, you have that nice warmth of the sun on your skin and nice smell of the salt in the air. And you basically don't know what's going to happen down here. There's something different happening every day. If Bondi is a great place to work, it's an even better place to come for a holiday. And it seems every visitor wants to learn how to surf. Sometimes the surf gets more crowded than the local car park. But Bondi's surfing kindergarten has produced many world-class surfers. Lifeguard Aaron Graham is one of the hottest surfers on the beach. Kerbox was his role model as former world number six. Today, they've been joined for a paddle by local legend and current world number eight surfer, Tom Whitaker. Oh, look, look, look. Collision. Oh! Couldn't get going. I was a distant third by a mile. A couple of obstacles out there though, which made some fun, enjoyable. One of the bodyboarders had lost his sort of bodyboard in the way and sort of picked it up. I probably should have dove off and rode his bodyboard. <laughs> you know, you get it all down here. Yeah, if you're coming out Bondi and you're getting angry at people being in your way, then don't bother come surfing, you know. You've got to have a little laugh and uh, enjoy those sort of moments. Everyone's entitled to learn how to surf and have fun themselves. And as long as everyone's having a bit of fun out here, it doesn't matter. We're just lucky we can get out of the way. <laughs> You won't wait too long at Bondi to see a surfer who's had a run in with a surfboard and come off second best. How are you? I'm good to sleep, eh? No, no, don't, no, stand up. You got hit in the back of the head. Yeah. All right. Relax. <laughs> relax, 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 relax. Oh, man. You saw me, man. You saw me. Uh, you need to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, nice and gently. Breathing. You've got no pain. Do you have any pain in your neck? No. Just in the head, just where you've been hit. Don't yeah. wiggle your neck. Don't wiggle it. Do you have any pain yeah. in your neck? No. no. No pain in your neck. What I need you to do is just focus on your breathing. Yeah, but it's a dangerous area, isn't it? So, yeah, it's all right. Just have a seat. There's okay. only just one question on Renato's mind. How big? How big? I'll tell you in a second. I need to clean it up first. It's all right. Your head bleeds a lot. Yeah, because it's yeah, so close to the Alright? Can you hold that there? Yes. How bad is it? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, man. Right, I'm just going to take this off. How big is this? So that's what I'm just doing now. Uh, uh, Alright? Is it big? It's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, you're freaking out a bit, so get an ambulance. Copy that, ATV. 
Renato from Rio has been run over by Carl, a local carpenter who's been chopping into more than wood. Man, you saw me from 20 metres. You kept coming, you kept on going. Their common passion for surfing brought them a little too close together. The wave was breaking in a way I couldn't get it and pull off. There was nowhere to go in front. So I was holding the nose of my board and just hoping to miss. And we didn't miss. And that's the bit that hit him, I don't know. It's got an indent there like it hit a fin or something. I don't know. Whatever did happen, the facts are becoming increasingly blurred. It might have been his board that got him, man. But one thing will soon become very clear, just how deep Renato's cut is. Hello Central to ATV, the ambulance is coming to the tower. I got him. Renato, from Brazil, has been run down by another surfer, leaving a gash in his head. He's anxious about just how large the wound is. Throughout summer, there's a steady stream of contenders who have come off second best in a bout with a board. Some days it's like an international hall of pain in here. Hailing all the way from France, it's Marc Antoine with an impressive fin chop to the head. Yeah, it's a nasty guy. Do you feel dizzy at all? No, I don't More in the head. Oh, no, Not to be outdone is Dennis from Germany. Was it your board that hit you? Can you no, just tell us a bit about someone happened? else? It was the board of someone else. Okay. And this board belongs to the surf shop. And Canadian newcomer Jason managed this injury all on his own. Right. Let's do it right now. I'm gonna hit my fin. Oh, yeah, you need to come stitches. Yeah, the water for a couple of days, mate. Yeah. But Renato from Rio has managed one of the best injuries of the season. It was a long board, was it? Yeah. Was it the peak one? Yeah. It should be illegal. <laughs> I know, man. I know. What's happened, Mark? Have a look at this. He's concerned about the cut, but now he's also worried about his hip pocket. Do I have to pay for the ambulance? You got private insurance? No, I've got Medicare. No, no, that doesn't cover the ambulance, so yes, we'll sorry about that. He's got his, his neck pain started. Renato will need stitches, but he started complaining about neck pain as well. He's going to put a collar on your neck, all right? It's going to be uncomfortable. Ambos take added precautions in case they're dealing with a spinal injury. If it was just the cut, would, the cut would have been all right. It's the fact that he had blurred vision and um, he started shaking almost instantly. It's very good signs that he's in shock. Gonna, if you back that straight in there, you're going to go straight into the hole. Like you're not going to go into the tunnel. Once the rookie, now the mentor. Today, Reedy's teaching trainee Blake the subtle art of reversing the jet ski. I'll tell you what to do, Blake. Come out to there, like drive out, and you want to come straight back in. Twenty bucks says you don't even get it in ten bring, goes. Bring it, Let's bring go. it. He said. All right, come back. I think you're right, Reedy. Right? Now I'm. Why do you keep turning the wheels? I wasn't turning my wheels. I was just... looking at the wheel turning. Oh, I was trying to keep it straight. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Whoa, whoa! Don't get too out of control. That's fine. <laughs> Knockoff is fast approaching, but this bet is far from over. Ah, uh, what's the time? We might have to just put this away. Uh... With the bet postponed. Blake has a chance to sharpen his skills before the next encounter. There was a time when bikinis were banned on Bondi and lifeguards had the delicate job of escorting women off the beach who flaunted the law. These days, even topless bathing is passe, though some people want to take it one step further. No, we've had a couple of complaints that uh, apparently there's a lady nude on the beach getting... Uh explicit photographs taken. The boys are going to check out what's going on. We're just going to kind of scope them from here. We're going to like look at the ribs, do some work, keep an eye on them and if they start taking photos again we'll go and speak to them and tell them to stop. 
see the bloke in the green top. Oh, down there. People have told her to move on, but they just move on and then she gets nude again and takes more photos. Yeah, is this the one that was taking the photos? Yeah. Told to cover up. Looks like they're right down in the uh, south corner. I thought they could get away with it down there. Hey guys. Mate, this is a pretty public area, right? This is a very public area, actually. Okay, no, what I'm saying is this is a public area. So we can't have you taking new photographs down here, okay? If you want to do it, you've got to do it somewhere in private as well. We followed you down here because we've got a report, right? And... What, what, are the, what are you taking the Yeah, photos? what are you taking photos for? Go back to your house or something. I'm taking that. Thank you very much. Uh, cover her up. She's got some pants on now and they've moved along. All right, mate. All good. Central clear. You know, school holidays is on now, so it's too many kids around if you're getting nude and... And you do get a heap of stirt bags taking photos of unsuspecting chicks. So we try and get rid of them even quicker. Whether there's 40,000 people on the beach or just one, Bondi's lifeguards are always on duty. In days like today, if you, um, you know, take it easy or drop something major is going to happen. Mid-morning, and a man is spotted struggling in a rip. Well, Corey's just... Game the rescue sky. Before the man sinks, a local surfing instructor comes to his aid. He left his glasses on when he went for a swim, but still missed the safety warnings. He's in his undies. <laughs> He's in his undies. Thought he's just a tourist has come down and ripped his gear off and thought he'd go for a swim without reading any of the signs. Okay. Corey needs to keep the man under observation in case he develops any complications. That guy could easy to drown there. Meher Deveshpur is an Iranian lecturer living in Sweden. He arrived in Sydney the day before and has come to Bondi with friends for the first time. I have very muscle pain. Yeah. There. Yeah, pain. Pain, very painful there. Bondi uh, ATV to Bondi Central. I reckon we might need an ambulance. This bloke is getting the pain in his right arm and he quite possibly might be about to have a heart attack if you might want to get the defib ready. On his first visit to Bondi, Mihir came very close to drowning. He's now suffering pain in his right arm. Corey fears he may be in danger of having a heart attack. You know, just put this out of your face, there's some oxygen, just breathe normally, OK? Now, there's another complication. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better or worse or what? I feel like I have to go to the toilet. Can you walk to the toilet or are you...? No, the toilet. The toilet's a long way up the beach. Yeah, in care box, we might have to try and... Despite the call of nature, Meher still needs to be closely monitored. Who would have thought you'd want to go be busting to go to the toilet in the middle of getting saved? I didn't expect that coming out. I hope he's all right. I hope he doesn't collapse in there. Hey, how are you, all right? You can breathe, okay? Yeah, no, we've got an ambulance here for you, okay? Thank God you're here. I didn't go under, but he yelled out as soon as he was in trouble. Yeah. One step down. He probably struggled for a good 30 or 40 seconds to keep himself up. 
Luckily, as we got him into the toilet, I was standing outside uh, yelling out that he's all right, which, you know, no one wants to be under a bit of pressure when they're uh, doing a number two. And then the uh, ambulance got here just in the nick of time, so it all turned out all right in the end. He was breathing and conscious when he left here, so that's the best we can do. After a chest X-ray and test on his heart, Mejia was given the all clear. Reedy has challenged Blake in the delicate art of reversing the jet ski. 20 bucks says you don't even get it until it goes. Bring it. Bring it, he said. He's had five cracks at it and been very, very unsuccessful. <laughs> but Blake's failure wasn't all due to technique. Yeah. I did set him up, yeah. The trailer we were using last time had a two flat tyres, totally flat tyres, so when backing it back, you really sort of needed to know what you were doing. He told me afterwards he wouldn't have made the bet if it wasn't that trailer, because... It's just a shocking trailer, but there's nothing you can do. Unless, of course, you adopt some underhand tactics yourself. I'm uh, just going to sneak some practice in. Uh, while Reedy's not here, so make sure I win the bet. But Blake still isn't having much success. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best bloggers I've seen for a while. Blake's called on some of the old pros for advice. That time, Blakey. Gold effort. After that effort, I was pretty good. Yeah, ready to take on Reedy now. That's sweet. <laughs> Blake's cocky now, but how will he perform when Reedy arrives for the afternoon showdown? If life was a postcard, then every day at Bondi would be perfect. Hot sun, blue skies, warm water. But life isn't picture perfect. A southerly front has descended on Bondi. A perfect day at the beach is turning pear-shaped. Thousands of beachgoers are suddenly desperate to get off the sand and undercover. days like this, lifeguards don't have to do a rescue to get wet. Did you see me hiding under the board? Every cloud has a silver lining and Bondi becomes a playground for some. While thousands have suffered nothing worse than a drenching, one unlikely beachgoer has had a much tougher ride. So we straight at Flat Rock. Yeah. He's getting swept out there and we saw it. Just keep him up there and keep him closer so he yeah. stays nice and warm. During the downpour, the stormwater drain at North Bondi delivered this half-drowned feline into the sea. The Moggy owes its life to 14-year-old local hero Alex. Right, uh, so we've got the uh, Ranger or yeah, call the Ranger. The Ranger. Okay. Well done, lads. Yeah. Yeah, done really well. Good on you. Modgie's been through a bit of an ordeal. Yeah. Got yourself a new best mate. He was, he was very happy to see you, mate. Yeah. Mate, take a seat. Well yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> mate, that cat is absolutely loving you. It's just like got the, got the little hug on. See how scared it must have been. Look how loved it is to look at it. Oh, no. Diamond studded collar. I'll be happy to see you. That's a Bondi cat. <laughs> Local rangers arrive to take the moggy to the vet for a checkup while they try to locate its owner. You're soaked. Thanks, guys. We'll let you know, OK? Thank you. Thank you. The cat may be safe, but down the other end of the beach, there's a dog on the loose. No, 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 Snoop Dogg, the real Snoop Dogg. Like, I'll, I'll pop a cap in your ass, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's him. What's He's that? got a three-quarter length white sort of jacket on with like stripes on it. Harry isn't as hip as he hoped. This is Snoop Dogg. That's his bodyguard. Snoop's at Bondi for an MTV shoot with Hollywood starlet Sophie Monk. And some other girls having a little trouble keeping their tops on. It's a bit of a um, spectacle down here as you can see. So it's all happening. <laughs> Snoop's chosen to visit one of the most popular places in Sydney, but his miners decide they don't like other people snooping. Some pretty 
big guys down here, so I'm not going anywhere near him. Maybe I'll just run up and give him a kiss or something and see what happens. Yeah, there you go. After a quick sniff around Bondi, Snoop Dogg and his heavyweight hounds head for the hills, leaving Chapo without an autograph. Yeah, it was very disappointing, I suppose, but, you know, it's showbiz, I suppose. You can't be bigger than showbiz. Renato, a professional soccer player from Brazil, was involved in a surfboard collision. Uh, when the surfboard hit my head, I thought it was gone, because I was pretty, pretty strong. After a nervous wait for x-ray results, any spinal damage has been ruled out. That's good news. Renato and his girlfriend have an impressive memento of surfing at Bondi. Ooh, that's a big cut. Is it bad? Yeah, it looks good. Does it? How many stitches? About 10 or something. Really? Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's a good, looks good. Does it? You punk. Wow. There's no fracture, so, which is good. And um, yeah, that's, I was very worried about that, really. Renato's rehabilitation looks to be in good hands. And just a bit of TLC, I think, is in order for you, young Renato. These things happen, especially out in the surf, with so many people, especially at Bondi as well, so everyone's just got to be a bit careful. But... It's all right. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Time for Blake to rise to Reedy's challenge and reverse park the jet ski in the tunnel. You've got five more goes at it. You've got the easy trailer this time. What? You want to swap the skis just to make it even? <laughs> I reckon we should get the other trailer out again, baby. <laughs> I reckon I've got the money in the bag, but I haven't worked with him in about three weeks, so he might have been doing a little bit of secret practice. Maybe out of Penrith he's been <laughs> doing something on the farm or something. <laughs> five cracks, baby, or this 20's mine. <laughs> Close. <laughs> How far up the tower do I have to do it to qualify already? Straight in, first gas. <laughs> See, I was just having a bad day that day, that's nah, it. No, 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 you've been practising. Whatever. Here's your 20 bucks. I might have backed it in once since then. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my money, yeah. Cheeky little bugger. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Actually, I was surprised because he did put it away first go very easily, so, you know, good on him. He should. He's got to get good at something. <laughs> yeah, he's not going too well at the moment. He's in a bit of a bad streak. He uh, lost about 10 bets during the Ironman Challenge, and there you go, some more hard-earned cash today as well. So I think the moral of the story is that you should stop betting. Next on Bondi Rescue, an unwelcome visitor slithers onto the beach. They're going to have to update the lifeguard operations manual after this. I'm not trained to deal with snakes. Reedy confronts his fears in Big Surf. Yeah, this is not just redemption for you, it's for the whole...